So again, we're going to go into the control panel, go to shared folders, and we're going to create a new folder. We're going to name this one Secure Backup Folder. Now in this case we're going to make sure that only the admin has read and write. No other user from externally will be able to access this folder. Now on the network we can see these folders. So we have the network store and this is the folder where I'm storing my files. The FTP folder that we created earlier to store files backed up using FTP and now we have secure backup folder and note here when I double click on the network store my computer has access but if I go on to secure backup folder note the system does not have access or credentials to access that one we're gonna configure hyper backup to back up everything from network store into secure backup folder and we're going to do that next so before we can use back hyper backup we need to install it it's as it's not installed by default so i went into the package center and i just did a search with hyper backup and it came right up so i'm going to click install And depending on your internet speed, it'll download and install within less than a minute. So the option that we want to uh, use here depends on whether we want versioning or not. We're going to keep things simple in this case, local folder and USB single versions. We'll select that, click next. So here is the destination. It's asking us where to back up to. So in this case, we want to go to secure backup folder. Now it's asking us what do we want to back up in this case. Again, network store. And that's all of the your files that you have stored on the network. So we don't need any of these two uh, applications to be backed up. And we're going to call this secure folder backup. And there's some options here. And of course, uh, enable the schedule would be uh, most appropriate. You wouldn't want to have to log in and back up manually. So we'll just leave it at that. But you'll want to set it to whatever is convenient for your, uh, your environment. So we can have task notification. So we can have the task notify us by email, for instance, once uh, backup was is successfully completed. And the rest is just fine like that. So we'll back up now as a test. And success. So we're going to close this for now close that. We're going to bring back up our file station and note in file station here we'll see secure backup and we have all of our files backed up here. And again we're going to go back to our network from Windows to demonstrate that that is not accessible from your computer, as is the network store. So that's how simple it is to use hyper backup on your Synology NAS in order to create a secure backup.